<laughs> We've got all our paperwork. Our adoption paperwork is all filled out. Got my got my photos of myself and uh, she's got her photos of herself. Let's see if I can get those. Can I get those? Yeah. He makes fun of my birth certificate. Yeah, her birth certificate looks like it's from like the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we're getting our passports. This feels so real. This feels really, really real. Like, pinch me. This is a forum of people who are answering the question, how long does the dossier take to complete? Remember, we shared with you that the dossier is all of the paperwork that goes to India and says who we are, everything they need to know about us in order to approve us to adopt from their country. So these are people who have gone through the process and who are answering that question. Okay. This person says it took them roughly three months to complete the dossier process. The next person says it took about three months. The next person, about seven months. The next person, about two months. Down here we see about three and a half to four months. The next one says two to four months. Now, for all these people who seemingly took seven months to complete the dossier, I want you to know we have gathered and or ordered every document we need in one week. We don't know how we did it. We just started going through the list and making plans and trying to organize into what we needed to go in person to order. Like we had to go get police reports showing that we have a clear record from the police department and you have to do that in person. But our birth certificates and marriage certificate could be ordered online. So there's some things you have to go get, some things you can order. Um, so we just organized them into which you know list each one falls in and what work we can do here, what work we have to get others help with like references. So we've actually got every single document for that dossier in process or if not in process then in this folder right here. You might not be able to see it, it says ready for notary. When something's ready for the notary that means we're basically done because all we have to do is drive three minutes from our house where we have a notary who's willing to notarize all of our stuff for free. And then once that's done we have to go to the Secretary of State for Florida and get all the documents apostilled, which is uh, the verification of the validity of a notary. The verification of the validity of a notary. That's a mouthful. So once that's all done, then you just send it off to IFS and we're done with the dossier process. Well, kind of. But, I mean, we're close. So we are zooming through it so fast. God is good. We, do, we just we looked at all this stack of documents that we have compiled and we just don't know how we did it so fast. Honestly, there was one evening where we sat at our dining room table for the entire evening and I think we put a movie on for the boys and, and just tried to focus as much as we could. And in that one evening, we basically put this entire folder together. All of those papers that are in there, um, that's way over half of our dossier. And it was all done and ready to go to the notary in one evening. So leaps and bounds we're making on it. And now you see that we have our passports ordered. Uh, Melanie had one because she traveled to London like when she was like 19 or 20 or something. But it expired. So she had to renew hers. And then I am getting my first passport. I've never traveled out of the country. So passports are ordered. And when those come in, we just have to make copies of those. And then those go to the notary to become part of our dossier. So... We've got everything, and we're even taking some training courses and things like that and getting those done, and there's little quizzes and certificates and things like that you have to do. Um, it's just international adoption is really complicated, and then we are adopting from a Hague country, H-A-G-U-E, H-A-G-U-E, and when you adopt from a Hague country, whew, I can tell you, their requirements are even more complicated and specific, so... Uh, but it's all to make sure that we are, you know, good good people. India doesn't know us, so it's this is our way of helping them understand our entire life history, who we are through the home study, uh, and everything they could possibly want to know through the dossier. So I know I said today's video would be about our dog. We just don't have time today. I promise, I promise, I promise we will get that video made as soon as possible. It's complicated, and we're going to have to 
orchestrate this whole thing where we reveal it to the boys and show them little pictures of the puppy and, and all that. And it's going to be a cute video. But stay tuned for that. I promise it's coming up. I promise, I promise, I promise in the next few days it will be, it will be posted, okay? Okay, I will see you tomorrow. I never know how to end videos. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Which one's the best? I don't know. You vote. Bye. So long. Au revoir. Adios. Those are the only languages I know. Okay, bye. For more information on why we're adopting and how we came to choose India, visit our website, twonewchandlers.org. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and leave a comment letting us know what you think. Or if you have questions about adoption, we'd love to point you in the direction of our great agency, International Family Services. Click subscribe to subscribe to our channel or the visit channel sign to browse old videos. Keep watching.